As mentioned previously, the prevalence of cameras with smartphone technology has made it fairly easy for consenting adults to send each other intimate pictures and videos. But what happens when one person in the relationship begins pressuring or even threatens the other with a criminal act in order to get him or her to send photos or videos he or she is not comfortable sending? Or even when a person who is not in a dating or intimate relationship with another demands or threatens the other to send photos or videos he or she doesn't want to send? The Penal Code Offense of Sexual Coercion is designed to criminalize these sorts of acts. A person commits an offense if the person intentionally threatens, including by coercion or extortion, to commit a Penal Code Chapter 43 offense, which includes such offenses as prostitution and compelling prostitution, certain trafficking of persons offenses, continuous sexual abuse of young child or children, indecent exposure, indecency with child, improper relationship between educator and student, invasive visual recording, unlawful disclosure or promotion of intimate visual material, otherwise known as revenge porn, voyeurism, sexual assault, or aggravated sexual assault to obtain in return for not committing the threatened offense or in connection with the threatened offense, intimate visual material, which is material depicting another person with the person's intimate parts exposed or engaged in sexual conduct, an act involving sexual conduct causing arousal or gratification, or a monetary benefit or other benefit of value. A person also commits an offense if the person intentionally threatens, including by coercion or extortion, to commit an offense under Penal Code Chapter 19, which covers criminal homicide offenses, Penal Code Chapter 20, which covers kidnapping offenses, or certain trafficking of persons offenses to obtain, in return for not committing the threatened offense or in connection with the threatened offense, intimate visual material, or an act involving sexual conduct causing arousal or gratification. This section applies to a threat, regardless of how that threat is communicated, including a threat transmitted through email or an internet website, social media account, or chat room, and a threat made by any other electronic or technological means. Sexual coercion is a felony of the third degree for those defendants with a prior conviction. All other offenses are state jail felonies.